Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be going on an adventure to one of the nearest habitable planets that we actually haven't talked about yet. Today you're going to learn about Captain Star and Captain Planet B and welcome to What The Math. So, I've actually talked about pretty much most of the nearby habitable exoplanets, but this one I kind of omitted, mostly because there's just not enough information about it, but at the same time we also are not 100% sure that this particular planet exists. There is still a chance that what we know about it might actually be a kind of a data statistical error. In other words, it could be just a solar flare. But we're going to assume in this video that the planet we're going to exists and that it's all real and that it is as we think it is. We're going to go on a, uh, onto a, a bit of an adventure. This is going to be a trip to a star that's about 12.76 light years away from us or about four times as far away as the nearest star. The star has a name and it's named after a famous or I guess somewhat famous astronomer. It's named the Captain Star. Captain Star is one of the few stars that actually have proper names. And it's an object that you can even see with your binoculars or um, a relatively cheap telescope. Now, the cool thing about this particular star is that, just as a lot of other stars in our galaxy, this is a red subdwarf that will very likely live for a very, very, very long time. In other words, it's probably going to be 10 to 100 times as long living as our own sun, up to about a trillion years. Now, th there's quite a lot of actually unusual facts about this star, and one of the facts uh, is that it turns out that it moves in the opposite direction to everything else in our galaxy. It has a retrograde motion around the central black hole in the Milky Way. In other words, if I were to actually just zoom out here for a second, and show you what our galaxy looks like from the outside, from this direction. Um, most things in here orbit in, I believe it's this way, whereas uh, Captain Star and a lot of other stars in its constellation go the other way. And because of this, it has a relatively high um, velocity across our skies, also known as the radial velocity. And um, we actually think it's moving the other way because it used to belong to another dwarf galaxy that was absorbed by the Milky Way several billion years ago. So in other words, it came from another galaxy. But then again, so could have our sun for all we know. We don't really know where our sun came from. Um, this is also a halo star. So in other words, it has a kind of a halo around it. And um, it is it is a star that's approximately 28% the mass of our own sun and about 29% the radius. So it's smaller, it's not as powerful, it's not as warm, it's only about three, um, three and a half thousand degrees, whereas our sun is about close to 6,000 degrees. But if you were to zoom out here, and if you run this a little bit faster, you'll notice that there are planets here. There is actually at least one totally 100% confirmed planet, and there's another one that's closer that's still not super confirmed. Both of these are just called Captain B and Captain C, and this is the one that we know exists for sure. They both are what would be called super-Earths. Basically, there are planets that are similar to Earth, but a lot more massive. This one was discovered in 2014, and in this um, case, it's actually known as Hot Marine Super Aquaria. And I think it's hot because it has a tremendously, tremendously strong atmosphere here. It's like thousands times higher than the atmosphere on Earth. Now, that's that could be just a fluke in the simulation. We don't expect this to be like this in real life, but this is how it is in the game. Um, now, what we do know about Captain C is that it's about seven masses of Earth and it's about at a distance of Mercury from the Sun, so 0.3 astronomical units. But because it's farther away from this cold star, here the skies are very, very dark, mostly because the star doesn't produce enough visual uh, light. And also, the warmth is very, very low, so it's very likely that this is actually a cold world. But the planet we are interested in is this, Captain B. Captain B is in the habitable zone. As a matter of fact, it orbits um, maybe just a little bit on the outskirts of the habitable zone, 
where it received slightly less radiation and heat than it would if it was a little bit closer. So in other words, the actual average temperature here would be maybe about 40 degrees lower than it would be on Earth. Unless, of course, this particular planet has a lot of atmosphere. And now this is where things get interesting, because we currently know nothing about it. So for all we know, it actually could have a lot of atmosphere. In this simulation right now, it has about 5% of atmospheric pressure of Earth, and it already has a temperature of about minus 40 degrees Celsius. If it has a lot of methane, if it has a lot of CO2 on the surface, this could be a perfectly habitable warm world with possibly even liquid water in it. So there is actually a very, very high chance for this to be a habitable world. Now, it is a lot larger than Earth, though. The gravitational attraction here is 1.5 g. And also, on top of that, it's about 1.6 radii of Earth. So it's, it's about 1.6 times bigger and about 4.8 times more massive. If there is atmosphere, and if we actually land on the surface of this planet... Oh, I think I just actually saw rings. There's a, there's tiny rings here as well, which are simulated by the game. But anyway, so yeah, if we were to land on the surface here with a, a spaceship that we currently have in existence today, and if this planet has atmosphere on it, we would not be able to take off because the gravity here is so strong that we would just not have enough power to be able to return back into the orbit. Unfortunately, this planet would be quite difficult to escape. Uh, unless it doesn't have any atmosphere, in which case it might be a little bit easier. Now, uh, oh, there's a volcano. Um, what we know about this world, that is, if it, if it is real, of course, is that it orbits at a distance of about 0.17 astronomical units, or about um, twice as close as Mercury. And uh, it has a very high eccentricity of about 20% or 0.2. What this suggests is that this world might actually have really, really interesting seasons. So, because its orbit, as you can see here, is not actually perfectly circular, when it comes close to the home star, it might receive a lot more heat and does become a lot hotter. And here, it's basically winter time, it's a lot colder. And because it, the changes are so high, those seasons might be very, very extreme. And so for this uh, reason, this might be actually a very unusual, very interesting world to one day visit, especially because when it comes to um, planetary distances, or I guess exoplanetary distances, this here is pretty much as close as we'll ever find, and it does have a high chance of having habitable conditions for us. Now, unfortunately, there's no other information we have that is confirmed. And unfortunately, we don't really know anything else about Captain Star, of course. We would like to know more, and maybe we'll one day confirm other planets in the system, but for now, that is all the information we have. This is, nevertheless, a very uh, likely world to potentially have life on it, if, if life does exist anywhere else except for Earth. And it has a relatively high um, Earth similarity index of about 73%, many, meaning that this is a lot more likely to be Earth-like than anything else in our own solar system. Well, that's it. That's all we know about this beautiful, unusual, cool, desertic super aquaria known as Captain B. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully you learned something from it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's land on this planet, explore it a little bit, and stop this video right after we do that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye. Oh, and by the way, I'm using Space Engine for this, and this is actually a free simulation that you can download from the link in the description. And the person making it has been doing this for years, and he basically survives on the donations. He doesn't charge anything for this game, so if you have a few bucks to spare, consider donating some money to him as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow.